Oh my god, this video angle is freaking terrible. Hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a couple weeks since I have uploaded a video, but I didn't really know what to upload. So I went to the good old Instagram and I asked you guys, what the heck should I upload? What should I talk about? And a lot of you wanted to talk about the Parasite Protocol that I am currently on. If you do not already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. My name is Kara Halderman. And if you're new here, how rude of me. Hello, my name is Kara. I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner and NLP master practitioner and welcome. So on my Instagram, if you're not already there, I openly talk about my health struggles that I've had. And if you haven't heard about any of the health struggles that I have had or am currently dealing with, you can basically just go back to my last video or the video before that and I kind of weave all my stories into there. But I've had a lot of gut issues from a really young age and I've been trying to get to the bottom of these gut issues. But as I'm finding, it's just an ever folding story. And once you find one layer and you fix that layer, then you find another layer and you fix that layer and you feel like you're on this crazy journey that's just never gonna end and you never see the light at the end of the freaking tunnel. And I mean, that's okay because I think that's how chronic health is in this society. But a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about parasites, wanted me to talk about the protocol that I'm on, how I'm getting rid of my parasites. I had parasites in the past, how I got rid of those, all that kind of stuff. Everything involving my parasite protocol and my mindset around this protocol that I am going on. If this video interests you or you are already not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video. And before I get into this video, I just wanna let y'all know, I'm not a parasite expert. I am not a doctor. I am not here to tell you, you should do this. But what I'm about to show you could potentially be a good option for you if you know you have parasites of any kind or just wanting to do a general gut cleanse. And I will preface this by saying that this was not something that I made up. Um, my friend, Emily Morrow, I put, I'll put her link down below. She's a fantastic nutritional therapy practitioner like myself and a really good friend of mine. And she kind of worked with me and told me a lot about this protocol and she even has a blog post all about this parasite cleanse on her blog. So I'll put her website down below and it even gives you the instructions like what parasites are, the symptoms that you may have, etc. Basically everything that I'm not going to be talking about today is in her blog post. So please go check that out before you decide to do this cleanse of your own. And I'm gonna be showing you all the supplements that I am taking for this cleanse because it is a heavy duty supplemental cleanse. And I will say it is expensive. It costs a pretty chunk of change to do this three month parasite cleanse. Let's just get into it. Let's just start. So why am I doing a parasite cleanse? Back in February, March, I actually learned that I had Giardia, I had H. pylori, and I had a slight overgrowth of Candida. Giardia is a parasite that shows up in like, I don't know, third world countries. So I didn't think that uh, I was going to get Giardia here being in America and especially in Texas, but apparently Giardia and other protozoas um, and other types of parasites are really common and just about everywhere <laughs> in America because they live on our foods and animals eat them. So they're in our meat sources, they are living on our vegetables and our fruits. And if your body does not have enough stomach acid or your immune system is weakened, the opportunistic parasites can start to grow and create havoc in the body. And that's exactly what I was experiencing back in March. Some of the symptoms that I was dealing with was just chronic extreme bloating, stomach pain, um, gas. It was mainly just chronic extreme bloating and i overall was exhausted sometimes i would get um headaches and i'm not really a headache type of person so that was kind of weird it was mainly gi symptoms though and my biggest thing was bloating oh yeah and then alternating constipation and diarrhea which is not normal so if you have that you should definitely get that checked out so i turned to a friend and she purchased a gi map test for me which is a functional lab test that tests your stool and sees if there's any pathogenic bacteria, viruses, or parasites in your body. And sure enough, Giardia, there she was. And there was H. pylori, and there was Candida. 
Infections often come coupled together. There's usually not just one and they're not always just parasites or just bacteria or just candida. If you have a poor gut immune system, all of the things try to take over your body. So I did a parasite protocol and it was only three supplements or four supplements for three months and I'm not gonna go into that one. Um, that supplement protocol works for a lot of people but it did not work for me because here we are now in almost September and all of my previous symptoms from that parasite protocol have come back with a vengeance. So that's where we are today, but that's okay because I know that in the end, this will most likely be worth it if I really stick to this protocol. Um, and I just wanted to share it with you because a lot of you guys have asked what I am doing. And a lot of people will say to just take one isolated supplement for parasites or take a couple different herbs here and there and it'll flush them all out. But that's really not the case because parasites are actually really smart. And once they feel like they have, they are being attacked, they know how to hide, they know how to replicate their eggs, they know how to create biofilms which protect them in the intestines and other organs. So they're a little bit smarter than that, <laughs> as I've learned. So I had to get a little bit heavy duty. So let's just get into it. Like I said, this whole protocol is all on Emily's blog. So if you want to learn a little bit more about that, just go to her blog and learn more about parasites and learn more about the protocol and what each supplement is actually Okay, so the first thing is this these four supplements all came in a gut cleanse from microbe formulas and It is there's too many this one is called Bioactive carbon biotox. So it's a binder to help bind toxins from die off. I Can't read any of these. I'm so sorry or pronounce them mimosa pudisa seed which helps kill parasites Intestinal mover because if you're not pooping while on this thing like that's not good You're just recirculating toxins and parasites and then formula one, which is an overall digestive support so that this is from the micro formulas website and this was a pack put all together and then on top of those three I'm taking this one called parasid from biomatrix this one called Biocedin, which looks like a general detoxification tincture. By the way, this tastes terrible. And every time I take it, I get a major headache, which is a die off reaction. So I'm having to start really, really slow with this. And then the Claire Labs Interface Plus. I know that you guys can't see these, but I'll put all the names up here for you guys. Um, but this is a something to break up biofilm and it's a really intense enzyme to also help digestion as well. So that is everything. And I ordered these supplements off Amazon, even though a lot of people say not to do that because you can get counterfeit supplements, but I needed them very quickly. And then I ordered that other set from Micro. You basically take the same protocol in the morning and at evening and timing of the supplements matters and it being away from food also really matters. So what this is going to do is draw the parasites out, kill them and um, help bind all the toxic byproducts and the intestinal mover will help you move it out. It also tries to help up some, help open up some of the detoxification pathways because when you are killing pathogens or microbes or anything in the gut, it is going to release toxins and that's when people have die off effects, which is what I'm going through right now. I've been on the protocol for only two days, but I'm not feeling my best. And that's probably because some of my detoxification pathways are either sluggish or not as open as I would like to be. So I'm experiencing occasional headaches, fatigue, and a lot of intestinal bloating, like more than usual, even though Corey looked at me and he's like, what are you talking about? Like, it's really not that much more than normal. But y'all know when you look in the mirror and you're like, okay, this looks bad, but it feels even worse than it actually looks. Yeah, that's what's going on. If you're going to start something like this, I would first make sure that your detox pathways are as open as you can get them. And how do we do that? By just supporting our body with real whole foods, high quality meats, vegetables, and good quality oils, fruits, nuts, seeds, just eat 
healthfully and as natural to the source as you can and your body's detoxification pathways will naturally open because they are not trying to handle a lot of alcohol a lot of caffeine a lot of processed foods and you can even do like a lymphatic support or a kidney support which is what microbe formulas recommends before starting this protocol but i already do a lot of that on my day-to-day -day basis so i didn't think i needed it but i'm still experiencing die off still experiencing die off so keep that in mind and then a lot of you are asking what my diet is on this parasite protocol and i want to say this is completely individual my body right now i'm pretty sure because of the parasites and the infections is not responding well to a lot of starchy carbohydrates even and i've been eating them anyways just because energetically they make me feel better but digestive wise i'm just not digesting them properly it's a lot of bloating sometimes like pain in my intestines like all that kind of stuff so i've been sticking to a primarily keto carnivore diet as you can tell from a lot of my other videos but i'm not like married to this idea of keto carnivore so that's basically what i've been doing drinking a lot of water getting a lot of electrolytes in and that's about it my workouts are staying the same if anything here's your reminder Turn the dryer back on. Alexa, reminder off. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, and I will reiterate, this is a more intense supplemental protocol. It is going to be more expensive. So I do recommend testing before guessing and getting some sort of GI map test done so you know that there is an overgrowth of any kind before you go on a protocol like this. I will be doing a follow-up protocol because after clearing up infection, the goal is to heal and seal the damage in the gut lining, restore your acidity in your stomach, and um, overall make sure that you have enough bile and enzymes to digest your food. Um, those three together, the stomach acid, the enzymes, and the bile, will improve digestion and overall make sure that infection does not come back again because stomach acid is your body's first line of defense against parasites and opportunistic bacteria. So I know this video was a lot of words. My brain is hurting. I also have a headache. Thank you, die off reactions. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know what I'm doing, that you do have other options if you have gut infections, parasites, all of that, because I know that when I've been dealing with my digestive issues through the years, I had a lot of problems finding answers and finding people that were willing to put protocols out there on the internet because a lot of people will say, oh, I'm not a doctor. Oh, I'm not this, like I did in the beginning. And they don't give out the protocols that they do when in reality, you can buy these online and you can do this yourself. And most likely, as long as you don't have an allergy to any of this, none of this is going to kill you. Like these are herbs and seeds. Will it be beneficial for you? I don't know. That's where a practitioner or a doctor comes in handy, but there are options. And I just wanted to put that out there on the internet if you're feeling hopeless or lost or needing any type of direction. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. If you like this, make sure to give my video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you never miss another video. I better go before my sanity starts to decline here but if you if you have any questions about this protocol what i'm doing you can go ahead and just leave a comment below and i'd be happy to answer or you could follow me on instagram and send me a message as well and i'd be happy to chat with you hope you all have a fantastic day and let's just you know let's all get rid of our parasites okay peace